And welcome back, Doggies fans, to Season 2 of Inside the Kennel. Bit of a new format this year, and we can't wait to get into it. As you know, we've already had Round 1 on the weekend, and joining me tonight for our first episode of Season 2020, I've got two debutantes from Adelaide Oval on Saturday in the league team. We've got Nick Lang and Ryan Carnelli. Uh, Ryan, good to have you on first show, mate. Late call up. Uh, thanks, good to be here. Yeah. We were going to have Troy on, you coming on next week, and uh, Troy's in, stuck in a meeting, so he'll be on next week. But we got the next best thing. Uh, played a, a great first game on the weekend, but uh, so did this man as well. He got best on, had a lot of ranking points uh, on the weekend as well. And uh, Nick, good to have you on, mate, and a great start to your league career. Thanks for having me. Um, yeah, it was, it was good, yeah. No, it's great to have you two boys on and uh, a very exciting day. Saturday, obviously, uh, Ryan, we didn't get the result that we were looking for, but uh, some really positive signs there and obviously new coach, new game plan, a lot of new personnel. Um, we're on the right track and hopefully we can we can start to put some wins on the board. Yeah, absolutely. I reckon after the first quarter, structures started to click a bit better, move the ball well, and yeah, hopefully we're in the right right way yeah we did we outscored them after quarter one as well so uh certainly played some some better footy there once we started to get our head around it but i just want to ask you nick obviously COVID, it's you know it's helped with injuries and that it's allowed people to to get back that time off but the unknown and you know us as a club we've had a new coach a new new game plan a new structure it was tough to be able to do that without uh, no trial games. I know we had an intra-club the week before, but it must have been tough to get your head around a whole new system uh, going into round one. Yeah, it was uh, definitely difficult. Um, obviously not being able to put the structures and new game plan um, in place You know, over three weeks, which you normally get leading up into round one. Obviously just the one internal, which was more yeah, looking at the players, I guess, and how they've uh, come back, fitness level. Um, yeah, so round one was always going to be always going to be tough. Yeah, and for you, Twig, your first year back at the club for a year or two. Uh, how have you found it, and uh, how excited were you to get out there on Saturday? Yeah, no, it was definitely surreal playing with one of my best mates and Nick. They've been together. But, yeah, just the culture coming back, everyone's welcomed me. It's been amazing. And, yeah, all the coaches, support staff, yourself. It's just been, yeah, unreal so far. No, it's been great to have you back, mate, and you've been lighting up the track as well. So I don't think anyone's got near you in a run yet, and if they have, it was oh, probably yeah. this <laughs> week. Um, so, no, we've got the two outside wingmen that uh, have got a big future at, at league footy level. But, um, I mean, it, the segment's back, Nick, and Prez, he, he's got a habit of jumping on uh, the big fish at the time and um, trying to get them in for his quick hand segment. But... Uh, so he's gone after you this week he after did, I told did, him yeah. not to because <laughs> you're coming on on the show. So can you get someone else? But, you know, he wanted you. So we let him go. Um, it is brought to you by Peter Page Holdens uh, this year, which is great to have them on board as a sponsor. If you're interested in getting on board the dog show this year, uh, hit us up because we'd love to have you involved as well. But Prez is back with his quick hands and he's got the man to my right on this week. So let's see how he goes. <laughs> Uh, welcome Doggies fans and welcome back to another year of Quick Hands. I'm Kyle Presbury. Um, firstly, I want to give a shout out to Peter Page for jumping on board as sponsor this year. Get down to them at Elizabeth um, and they'll help sort you out. Um, but wow, what a first guest I have on Quick Hands this year. I'm very excited. Um, made his league debut on Saturday against Sturt. Obviously, we didn't get the result um, we wanted, but geez, this man was exciting. Um, Nick Lang. Welcome, mate. Thank you. It's good to be here. Um, so firstly, I'd like to start my segment off by telling everyone a bit about how we know each other, how I know my yep. guests. Um, we grew up playing cricket together at the Northern Jets. Um, then you decided to cross paths with me at Trinity. Yep. Um, came to school and we became really close at school. Um, we did, yes. So yeah, that was sort of how we met. But tell us about Saturday, mate. The build-up, everything. How was it? Uh, yeah, very nervous um, before. Uh, yeah, struggled uh, to get a bit of food down before the game. But um, yeah, sort of once I got around the boys, um, yeah, it was good. Um, very exciting. 
Yeah. You struggle at the best of times before games, don't you, mate? Yeah. Let alone very, before Adelaide yeah. Oval, round one. Yeah, very nervous operator. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, you were really good, mate. Um, the Doggies fans are got a lot to look forward to in the future, mate. Um, if you keep playing like that, who knows, we might not only have you for a year, but that's a bit of the unknown for now. But tell us a bit more about yourself. You grew up playing cricket. Um, you're a very good junior cricketer um, in a few state squads, um, all that sort of stuff. Tell us about uh, your trip to India. For, what was that for? Yeah, so that was uh, for the Darren Lehman uh, Cricket Academy. Uh, it was a good opportunity. Uh, I had to pick a, a country lad, so obviously... Yeah, he got chosen to represent sort of the Brosser Valley region, I guess you'd call it. Um, yeah, went over there to Bangalore for 14 days. Um, played seven games in that time. Um, yeah, it was a good experience. And how'd you go over there? Did you hit any runs? Uh, a few, not as many as I would have liked. Um, yeah. And what were the pitches like? Uh, dry. Uh, we actually did have one wet pitch. Uh, someone did leave the sprinklers on, which was uh, oh, no. yeah, quite good for the couple of seam bowlers yeah. that were playing. Yeah. And you're a bowler as well. You do a bit of both. Did you do much bowling over there? Yeah, I did a bit of bowling. So I bowled my leg spinners. Yeah. So I got a couple of wickets, which was nice. But um, yeah, some of the bat- batters took to me a bit. That's like That happens. Yeah, that does happen, mate. And tell us about your time at Trinity. Um, your year 10 year was an incredible year of school footy for yourself. Um, you played with Wayne Miller at yes. school footy. And yeah. sort of tell us about that year of school footy, year 10. Um, yeah, when... We lost one game for the whole year. Um, yeah, so it was good playing with Wayne. He obviously came across just for the, the one year. Um, yeah, versus PAC in one game and uh, yeah, knocked them off by four goals, I think, which was a pretty uh, big mark on the school footy. Um, yeah, and we, me and Wayne are linked up a bit, which was nice. And how many goals did you kick that year, mate? I can't tell the exact number. How many were you averaging then? I know you know that number. I think it was <laughs> six or seven. I'm not sure which one. Yeah, yeah, that's it's. You had a big year, and rightfully so, with the delivery you had from Wayne yeah. at the middle of the ground in that yeah. year. Um, unfortunately, after that, you obviously went through a, f- a long list of injuries, your hardship. Yeah. Um, tell us about the next six years and all what happened through that time. Yeah, so I had my um, year eleven, had my first hip surgery, um, which is a basically a twelve month uh, injury, and then got back. Played one game in year 12, um, exact same thing happened. Had surgery again, um, obviously wasn't at school then, so then out at um, Centrals. And then yeah, played about I don't know, five games in the 18s. And uh, yeah, it happened again. So that was three, uh, three injuries at this point. It was uh, yeah, pretty tough. Um, and then yeah, got back one year, played six in a row. Then did my ankle, uh, needed an ankle recon. And then last year just had a few niggly things, um, but Got to play nine games, which was, yeah, probably my biggest year for many before that. And then obviously got a pre-season in this year, which was uh, very nice and it's helped the body a lot. And you read your yeah. awards on Saturday, mate. Yeah, mate, honestly, it's an incredible story. Um, you obviously went through a lot of hardship and I couldn't think of a more deserving bloke that had the opportunity to make his debut on round one, mate. And I'm, it means I was, a lot. I was very Thanks. proud to yeah. run out with you, mate. And That was good. Um, yeah. If you fans didn't know that, me and Langy got a bit of a man crush on each other. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, no, I was very proud, mate, and I was very excited to get you on this week as my first guest. So thanks, mate. Thanks for coming on. No and I really thanks appreciate it, here. mate. Thank you. Right, Langers, <laughs> there it is, mate. You've, you've sat down with Prez, and I tell you what made me really nervous was when he got here tonight and I said, have you got your notes? He said, I'm going off the cusp this year. And... <laughs> If there's one thing that happens with Prez, and you'd see it watching that footage, is he actually goes very shy once the camera comes out, as, as much as he yeah. likes to say that he doesn't. But uh, he has he has the jitters there, and uh, Prez, please, can you get some notes for next week's guest <laughs> and try and stitch him up if you can as well. But uh, no, he, he's another one. He had a, a good game on the weekend, and uh, good to see Prez going well because yeah. when he's going yeah. well, he gets around the boys and he's That's up and it. about. Yeah, he's, uh, he's a bit of a barometer. Um, yeah, when he's up and about, everyone seems to get around him and he brings everyone else up with him, which is good. Yeah, no, it's fantastic and it's great to have his quick hands back and I can't wait. Some of the new faces he's going to get, Twig, I reckon you're going to get stitched up on there as well soon enough, which will be good <laughs> to see. Um, but boys, we'll get into it and obviously... Just the, the scores from the weekend, I know everyone's seen it, but the league uh, 
Unfortunately, went down by 15 points, 36 to 51. But um, I tell you what, yourself, Nick, had an out, outstanding game to get out on Adelaide Oval and play your first game as a wingman. Um, I know you trained a lot over your junior career as a forward. Yeah. To get out and play that wing and have the space that you did out there, it must have been amazing. Yeah, it was. Um, yeah, very nervous, obviously, running out there to start, um, standing on the wing, just a yeah, massive, massive stadium. Um, plenty of space out there if you're willing to work. Um, yeah, it took me a bit to get into it early, but um, yeah, once I got the first touch, sort of settled me a little bit, which was good. And your first goal at league level, we were looking for a bit more of a celebration, but uh, yeah. just full calm and collective. No, I don't have a lot. I'm a bit of a yeah, quiet celebrator. Need to work on that. We'll do something this week, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. I've, well, I've put my hand up to take celebrations training yeah. this week, boys, so looking we can... Um, try and get up and about, but you wouldn't think that with the shoes you get around in and the hands you're running, which is about to get redone, I'm looking forward to see. I can't believe you don't have a celebration, so we've got to work on that um, as well. But uh, same for yourself, Ryan, to get out and have the, the space out there uh, as a first game and, and back your fitness in, uh, it must have been really good to be able to work your opponent over. Yeah, no, it was definitely always going to be challenging. Sturt are always pretty fit out on the wings, but... Yeah, I reckon getting a couple early touches really helped just to calm the nerves a bit. And yeah. Yeah, and Jeff Andrews, the new coach, how have we found him, boys? Good. Yeah, good. Uh, obviously different, um, but no, it's been good. Good communicator, um, different game plan as well, um, which we're adapting to, but it all looks very positive. Yeah, and for yourself, Ryan, coming back to the club must have been great to have someone like Jeff be able to uh, come in and, and really uh, give you that boost of confidence as well. Yeah, absolutely. He's worked with me since day one. and yeah, Always helping, always there to, for questions. And yeah, it's good. No, it was good. And it was great to see uh, Dan Menzel and Chris Olsen both also get their yeah. first goals for the club, as well as um, Ryan Llewellyn, I thought, played an excellent game uh, yeah. down in the back as well, uh, back half as well, which was great to see. But... Uh, we come out on Sunday, watch the reserves play, and the boys put on a bit of a clinic. I think Nick Gillard probably kicked one of the nominations for goal of the year Absolutely. early on his left. Yeah, 100%. He, he did give a celebration. Yes, he was good. Yeah, he had the two arms out, big wingspan going. <laughs> um, bit of look at me, which was good to see. Yeah, yeah. he uh, he was good. So 53 to 39, sort of uh, back, half, back half of that game, let them get away, uh, kick a few yeah. easy goals, and that the boys were a bit, bit tired. But... Um, some really impressive uh, players there, along with another one of your your boys' best mates in uh, the high flyer, Rhett Montgomery. I don't think I think he was in the air more time than he was on the on the <laughs> yeah. ground. Absolutely, yeah. Took a hanger, but wasn't called, which was unfortunate for him. But yeah, that'll, that'll start to stick even more. Yeah, well, he did stick a couple. He was fantastic, and uh, Joe Brown and another boy, he was good. And and there was a few really really good. Uh, players in that reserves game as well that got the boys a win and I tell you what it was good to hear the song it and was, yeah. hear, hear them sing sing that uh, on the, or after a win and uh, after the first weekend and um, touch on the women's score as well unfortunately the girls they got their season or well, they got their season going again which was fantastic but they went down to, uh, 24 to 52 um, but I tell you what some big recruiting news for the girls have done well to get uh, Sarah Allen from the Adelaide Crows to uh, be back playing for them. So no doubt uh, they're going to win some games very soon with her at centre-half back. But boys, we've, as we've moved this to a more of a review show rather than a preview, just to get it out earlier in the week for the, for the viewers, uh, we've taken out the teams and we've put in the coaches' corner. So each week we're going to catch up with one of the coaches and uh, get them to dissect uh, the weekend and... Um, have a bit of a chat about what they thought about the weekend. So, I mean, he's done lots of media for Cotton Media so <laughs> far, the new coach, but uh, we had to start with the head. It was also a big day for him, his first uh, game as a head coach at state league level, and he get to coach on Adelaide Oval as well. So uh, we caught up with Jeff Andrews and uh, have a hit what he had to say from last week. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was right up until Saturday morning, and then uh, yeah, a little bit of the unknown. I was, I was got a bit, I was being a bit, a bit nervous. Hopefully, that didn't carry over to the players. But uh, yeah, look, it was a great experience all around. Obviously, we didn't get the win that we were after, but uh, walk away from the game, not uh, not too despondent. You know, the things that we need to get right are pretty easily fixed, and, and we did a fair bit right. 
Yeah, I think Nick Lang, providing he can keep his body sound, um, he's definitely got his feet on the ground. He's, he's been through enough tough times with injury and um, and whatnot throughout his career. You know, he, he's um, he's overdue for a bit of luck, and yeah, I think this side has been crying out for a bit of um, class on the outside, and that's exactly what Nick gives us, mate. Uh, as you can see, I'm not doing anything. I'm not talking about hairstyles at all. So. Whatever he wants to run with, he's more than uh, he's more than okay with me. Yeah, look, we we didn't play the way we wanted to play, so we uh, the message will certainly be about uh, how and why that occurred, and uh, and just get back on the horse. Uh, we play Westies this week, and we've got a really good opportunity to to play the game the way we want to play it. We did we did a lot right, um, and we just need to fix those areas that were let let us down a little bit on Saturday, and uh, and we got our opportunity to do that this week against the quality side who've also had their colours lowered, so they're gonna be on the rebound and that's a great opportunity for us. Definitely a few sore bodies. Um, first game, you know, well, let's call it a, a small or a, uh, not a not a big lead up in terms of coming back from Corona and only having the five weeks and, and limited time um, with contested work, etc. But yeah, there were some sore bodies, but no injuries. So uh, look to have a full squad to choose from and a couple of extras coming back into that squad this week. Yeah, look, the unknown was we had to we had to ramp things up pretty quickly to be ready to play, and, and the unknown was uh, whether that was going to result in any injuries. We've uh, we've got a great medical department that have done a really good job to keep our boys sound and and get guys coming back from long term injuries. So um, credit to them, and yeah, we we did ramp things up and and really didn't have too many too many breakdown, and we're we're close to a full squad to choose from this week. So very heartening. All right, great to hear the words from the head coach this week as well and I can't wait to catch up with the Lions coaches and um, what's he and a few of the other boys as well but uh, boys great first show great to have you two on and, and get it out the way earlier I know you are nervous operators <laughs> but uh, you've been good tonight and we haven't forgot last year that we were running a competition uh, if you shared the video you went in the draw to win a signed team Guernsey by the team now uh, unfortunately logistically Cooper Dumps, um, we won't name names, although we have. Uh, we didn't get that Guernsey at the end of last year, but we haven't forgot. So the winner from last year will be announced on next week's show, and they're gonna get a 2020 team signed Guernsey. So Twigger, they'll get your signature instead, which, you know, worth a little bit more. Um, but, and we'll be doing the same for this year as well. So if you share the video, you'll then go in the draw to win a 2020 t- team Guernsey, which I promise you we will have. Uh, they'll both be signed next week, so we'll have one for the entire year. But until then, dogs, we'll see you on Sunday at Adelaide Oval for the league. We've got the late game this week against West Adelaide. It's going to be very exciting. Get down there, watch these two boys in action, and let's get a win for the dogs. See you all next week.